So in my uh, 1977 Ford F-150, uh, I had a 302. I put in a 351 Windsor. It took about two and a half days uh, for all the hard work. I did a little tinkering later on uh, the next couple of days, but uh, the engine, the old engine out, new engine in, bolted up and everything, two and a half days. Uh, it's really not that hard. <clears throat> so I'm going to be going over some of the things that you need uh, versus some of the things that you can keep if you want to save some money, uh, things that you can clean up and reuse. All right, so from a Ford 302 to a Ford 351, these are just the things uh, that I got brand new just because um, I have my reasons for each one. So the intake manifold isn't going to, your original 302 won't fit on the 351, so you got to get a new one anyway. I just went with Wind. They have many different types, whatever one you got. Um, oil pan, your 302 oil pan won't fit, so you will have to buy a new one. Uh, so I just got one off the internet, 351 Windsor oil pan. They're pretty standard across the board for uh, if you order one for a 351 Windsor. Uh, you'll need a new oil pump and you'll need a new oil pickup tube. Uh, that's the thing that attaches to the oil pump. It has, a little, it has a little strainer on it. I ordered the oil pickup tube from johnsmustang.com. Uh, so in case you're having trouble finding one, here's a reference for you. Uh, that's the only reason I put it on there. Um, also, the little oil pump drive shaft. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but I'm just calling it an oil pump drive shaft. Um, it's what actually turns the oil pump from the distributor. Um, that is that's longer on the 351. Well, it has to be longer because uh, everything's a little bit taller for the 351. So you'll have to get a new one of those. I just got one at my local auto parts auto parts store. Can't talk. Uh, the new water pump. You can use your 302 water pump. I just got a new one since I'm taking apart my engine anyway. I might as well just get a new water pump. Uh, they're not very expensive, like $30, $40. Uh, you can use your existing thermostat and your thermostat housing, but since I was then you know taking it apart anyway, might as well get a new one. My housing was kind of crappy looking, so I just got a new one. And definitely, if you're tearing it apart, just put a new thermostat in it. Uh, you'll need a new distributor. Uh, your cap and rotor off your 302 will fit, but the distributor uh, body is longer. So you'll have to get a new one. And I got the electronic distributor because uh, that's what my setup is. And if you have, you know, late 70s, that's what your setup is too. Uh, you can use your existing spark plugs from your 302 if they're the 5 8 uh, If they're the small style, which they should be. They really only have two sizes, like a really large one and a smaller one, which a 5 8 socket fits around. Um, so... If they're the same, you can reuse them if you want to. I just got new ones. Water temperature sensor. Uh, I believe you can use your existing one. I think the hole is the same size in the manifold. But, like I said, you're tearing it apart anyway, so might as well put in a new one. You'll need a brand new oil filter adapter. If you're taking apart your old 302, you're probably not going to be able to get that off unless it was like an aftermarket addition to begin with. Uh, the new one you can unscrew uh, potentially if you need to, you know, rebuild a new engine after your second engine because um, it just screws in. The one that comes stock with your 302, you're probably not going to be able to get it out. Uh, water crossover hose from thermostat housing to your water pump. I got a new one of those because it's actually a little bit longer where it attaches to the water pump. Um, I found out it was maybe a quarter inch longer because uh, the engine, the intake manifold is a little wider, so uh, that space is there. But uh, I guess if you're in a crunch, you could use that over from your old 302, but 
since you're replacing it anyway, uh, tearing it apart, just get a new one. So you can reuse your valve covers from your 302. That's what I did to save, you know, $200. Uh, I just reused them. I'll say I'll uh, buy new ones later, I guess. Timing cover is the same, so you can reuse that. I cleaned mine up and reused it. Uh, like I said, water pumps the same. Your fuel pump, uh, mine was already brand new. I already replaced it, so I just reused my uh, fuel pump. It's same. It goes into your timing cover, so it'll obviously fit. Uh, thermostat housing, like I said, thermostat and housing is the same. You can reuse it. Temperature unit, I believe, is the same. Your balancer, you're going to reuse your balancer. That's all the same. And like I said, the distributor cap and rotor only. You can reuse the cap and rotor if you want to save a couple dollars. Uh, and then intake manifold is different. You're going to need a new one. Oil pan, oil pump, and the drive shaft. Uh, let's see, oil, the... Pickup, I already talked about that. Distributor. And yes, yeah, so I already talked about this. You will need a power steering mount. The bolt that goes through your power steering bracket that mounts into the head that holds the whole thing. Uh, the bolt's not going to line up. The bolt hole is not going to line up on your new uh, 351 Windsor head. I made a bracket. I'm going to show you a picture of that. Uh, the two bolts that are holding the bracket to the head, uh, those just uh, align with two bolts that two bolt holes that were already there. I put in some washers between the head and the bracket to space it away. Then the hole that the power steering bolt is going through, I threaded that. <clears throat> that way you don't have to worry about putting a nut on the other side, um, and also on that bolt. Uh, on that same bolt that holds the power steering, I had to put washers. Therefore, I didn't screw it into or bolt it into uh, the freeze plug because there's a freeze plug right behind it. So uh, you can judge that for yourself. I don't have any exact measurements, but I eyeballed the whole thing. It was it was fairly simple. Um, the hole that you're seeing on top um, in the middle was an old hole. Uh, it was lined up perfectly, but uh, when I tapped it, um, the the drill bit I used was a little bit too big, so the threads didn't stick. So I just turned it over, drilled a new hole, uh, threaded it, and everything works great. Um, the bolt threads right in. So I'm saying that in case you do mess up the first time, just turn it over and you can use the other side. Um, there's enough room there as you can see the alternator bracket the one that originally came on my 302 it already had two holes um, for the alternator bolt to go through um, so one hole the one that's lower uh, I actually used on my 302 and then when I put that bracket on my 351 I ended up using the top hole so someone somewhere was nice when they invented that little bracket and threw it on there. My dad also did the same swap. I'll link his video below. Uh, he shows the engine, uh, I believe, off and running, and talks a little bit up, bit about where he got it. Uh, I got it, I got my engine at the same place as well. Um, and anyway, the alternator bracket he had on his 302. He had the same one I did and it works so uh, I'll have a picture of that as well so you can identify your bracket if you have the same one it'll fit 